Russia's rapid rearmament has alarmed NATO. Le Monde reveals scale. One of the key issues at the NATO anniversary summit was the ability of the Russian army to rearm. The ability of the Russian military industrial complex to recover is becoming increasingly surprising and alarming, writes Le Monde media outlet. For a long time, Ukraine's allies questioned Moscow's ability to rebuild its arsenal as the war wore on and in particular to produce precision missiles. At the start of the conflict, everyone pointed to the weakness of Russia's defense industry and its dependence on technology and components imported from Western countries. But today, its ability to rebuild is becoming increasingly surprising and alarming, the article says. It is noted that the Russian defense industry has been restructuring for many months, switching to a 3 times 8 mode, increasing the number of production lines and restarting mothballed industrial sites. It also pointed out that sanctions imposed by the United States and the European Union certainly hampered the development of Russia's defense industry at the start of the war. But Moscow has since partially mitigated Western sanctions through evasive tactics, leading analysts noted. As a result, since the beginning of the year, Russia has exceeded the pre-war level of production and stockpiles of cruise missiles. For example, in 2023, the Russian Federation produced six Iskander 9M723 missiles per month and had 500 units in reserve. And since January 2024, there are already 200 units in reserve. This increase in production applies to all other categories of missiles. As the publication writes, Russia's military efforts are equally significant in the tank segment. According to estimates by the International Institute for Strategic Studies, annual production could exceed 90 units, while until February 2022, the Russian Federation produced only about 40 tanks per year. To bolster its war effort, Russia has turned to rogue states like Iran and North Korea for support. Also slowed for a time by Western sanctions, Moscow has succeeded in creating new supply chains by playing on the difficulty of determining whether imported goods are for civilian or military use. China was the first country to play on this ambiguity. Sales of many so-called dual-use products have soared, the newspaper writes. While securing its supply chains, Moscow has invested in expanding several production sites for combat aircraft missiles and drones. Satellite images show that a subsidiary of the Kalashnikov group acquired a shopping mall in Izhevsk, 1,200 kilometers east of Moscow, in January 2023 to turn it into a factory to make Italmaz kamikaze drones. And images in Irkutsk, Siberia, show that a site where some parts for the Su-30 fighter jet are made has been expanded by two buildings. The publication says... Fire has broken out in famous Rouen Cathedral in northern France on Thursday. According to the French Ministry of Culture, the cause of the fire may be mishandling at the restoration site of the cathedral's metal spire. Seine Maritime Prefecture reported that the fire broke out at the top of the spire, which is made of metal rather than wood, and restoration work is currently being carried out there. It is not yet known whether the wooden frame of the cathedral was damaged. Thick black smoke was filmed pouring out of its main spire in the late morning, in an area where renovation work was taking place. Rouen Cathedral is one of the national heritage sites of France. Fire engines are at the scene, and the cathedral has been evacuated, said an emergency services spokesman. The city's mayor, Nicolas Mayer Rossignol, took to X to say, a fire has started on the spire of Rouen Cathedral. Origin unknown at this stage. All public resources are mobilized. Thank <laughs> you.